This video is to show you how to put back together your Parrot AR Drone 2.0. If you need to see how to take it apart, it's the other video. First thing, just uh, make sure that arrow right there, it's very important, is pointing forward on the central cross. And of course that your feet are pointing the right direction. They're not upside down. Uh, just shove it back into your bottom structure. And also very important, make sure all those ribbons and cords, two yellow ribbons, and the uh, two connectors of the motherboard from the central cross are not stuck underneath the center of your central cross there. Make sure you got plenty of slack because you're going to need to stretch those out later. Uh, take your motherboard, make sure it's on that plastic frame, and go ahead and push the USB and battery connectors through that little hole we cut in the last video, about a half inch. Then once you've got them through there, usually I do the bigger one, the USB first. Once you've got them through there, there's a kind of a half circle piece of plastic. Uh, you'll put that, uh, you can lock it into place there on the body. Now locked in place. Okay, and then you need to take your uh, plastic frame here and put on those uh, let's call them screw columns so it's in place and you can screw it in properly make sure you've got plenty of slack again on those ribbons and those connector cords uh, first do the bigger black one put that into the bottom larger white connector uh, plug it's easier to just use your fingers, just kind of shove it in there. If you've got to touch the motherboard for support with the other hand, uh, try and either just touch uh, the edges or the uh, part where there's glue or one of the plastic plug pieces so you don't get your finger oil over the internal parts. And then push in the uh, smaller white connector into the smaller white plug. It's really tiny, especially if you've got fat fingers, but. Uh, you gotta get in there. Yeah, and then now put it on those uh, columns, triple speed. Screw in your large screws. Then you're gonna switch bits. This is the blue upgrade uh, toolkit, by the way. It's got the stronger magnet tips. And then put your two sharp end screws, not the flat end, the sharp end, right there. Uh, and then take your yellow ribbon and insert it there under that uh, black piece of plastic and then put that black piece of plastic, uh, snap that into place to tighten that ribbon. Next you got to put your navigation board, you got those little eight forks right there. Uh, put them there into that plug, slide it in there, it should go in pretty easily. And then the easiest way is just to put the screw directly on the magnetic tip and then go in from there. Uh, too sharp, yeah, you'll want to put that in there, probably with some glue or some double sided tape. Uh, sharp end screws here as well. Uh, switch bits, two large screws. You'll take your white cord here. Uh, Go ahead and push it there into that little black and white plug. Get in there as far as you can and then just snap that black plug back into place. It'll snap. And then uh, this little yellow ribbon here is actually really easy. I kind of fumble it. But um, that one's pretty easy. You just push it down right upside down onto the connector. It'll snap as well. And then, uh, if you maybe again need some glue or some double-sided tape, uh, that helps to keep that on there. Should be okay though if you just took it apart. And the same thing with those central cross stickies, tape or glue. Uh, next up, you'll need to put your 
motor in there. This is actually pretty difficult. I'm only going to show you one for time's sake. Uh, you need to, the foot's kind of in the way there, it's a pain and the hole's not really big enough, but push up on your motor firmly but gently and the pinion gear should pop through the foot and the little hole, should, there it is, wait, uh, right, pop, there it is. You gotta put in these connectors, again just use your fingers, they go in uh, pretty easily into your motor. Do this before screwing it in. Makes it a little bit easier. This is the correct order to do it in. So put those connectors in there. Make sure they're in there all the way. And then um, here you got your other 12 sharp end screws. Same as the ones you put in the motherboard and the nav board. Do triple speed again for time's sake. Easiest way again is just to, uh, with this blue toolkit, it's got pretty strong magnet tips. Uh, if you need to buy one of these, by the way, there's a link below. You can get uh, one of these blue kits as well. It's about 20-30% off most replacement parts and some mods. But uh, yeah, get your screw, put it on the tip of the magnet, and then go in. That's the easiest way to do it. I'll just do this regular speed because I'm just going to do one of these. Just uh, Now these are the flat end screws. There's only 12 of these, three on each leg on the top of the motor and the feet. Separate from, uh, different from the other ones. These are the 12 flat end screws. Screw them back in as well. Make sure your motor's nice and tight as well as the connector there to the central cross. When you're pretty much done. Uh, do this on all four. Push the shaft in. Put the gear in. Uh, the propellers need to be in a C-A-A-C -A pattern, for starting from the top left. They're marked, the letters on there. Uh, so C, top left, and bottom right. A, top right, bottom left. And put your C-clip back on there. Again, those propellers are marked with those letters. Put your C-clip back on. Switch bits to that part with the blue screwdriver. Once you've got that on there, uh, just kind of pull up and uh, spin around make sure all your teeth are in place on the gears properly. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe or like this video if you if it was helpful.